everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about authors I want to read more of. So a lot of these authors, I've read only a few of their books, maybe only one, and I really want to read more of because I, I adored the first one and everything else they write, write, I want to read. The first author I would like to read more of is Silvia Moreno Garcia. Um, so I have read, at this point, I've only read Mexican Gothic, but I have on my shelves uh, The Beautiful Ones, Set and Dark Things, and oh, this, this still has the sticker on it, but Silver was the, uh, Velvet was the Night. I think this is a big surprise to anybody. Um, I absolutely adored Mexican Gothic, one of my favourite like horror books of all time. Certain dark things, I think it's like a YA kind of middle grade, and it's it by the sounds of it, it still sounds quite dark. So I really want to see what else, what she had, how she writes for a younger audience, but still maintaining that her style of a bit twisted and a bit creepy. Um, I have no idea what The Beautiful Ones is about, but and I wanted to stay like that. I kind of hope it's a bit like Mexican Gothic kind of thing, a bit creepy. Um, I absolutely love this cover, like, oh, with the fan, like, she's like, ah, oh. and then the flowers as well. Oh, it looks so pretty. Um, yeah, this, 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 and I love the colour. Oh, it looks so good. And then we have Velvet Was the Night. This cover, it feels amazing as well. It feels... It's like a matte kind of finish and just oh it sounds it just feels so good um yeah so these just uh sylvia moreno garcia is like one of my new favorite authors i think i mean i've only read one book so we'll see i want her to become one of my new favorite authors because i just love mexican gothic and i really want to see what else she has to offer when it comes to her books because i feel like her stories are just so dynamic and unique um and I just enjoy reading them. Like, she makes everything makes sense to me. So some writers can confuse me really easily if nothing's really clearly explained. Whereas Sylvia Moreno Garcia, everything is clearly explained and the plot points are explained and it's just like, oh, this makes so much sense. And that's why I love her writing and I really want to read more of her books. So yeah, a person I have is Talia Hibbert. Um, I have read all of the Brown Sisters trilogy um, and I absolutely adored them um, and I, I saw online that she's actually written some like stuff on Amazon like she has more romance books and I really really want to read them because again Tally Hibbert's writing is just so like I love it so much because it's just fun there's nothing like difficult about it and I love like the quite snarky comments in them and stuff like that because I feel like she really makes the characters jump off the page. Um, so yeah, so I don't think any of them, her other books have traditionally published, not as far as I know. So I would love to read what other what other romance stories she has to offer. Because I, like I said, I just love her writing. Yeah, I really want to read more Tally Hibbert. She is a class A writer, romance author. Um, and I recommend her to anybody and I really, really want to read more of her books. Now time for the plan of the video. And today I have with me is Doug, my rubber plant. I'll explain his name, uh, why I called him Doug. I was gonna call him Rub, then I thought, that's kind of boring. What's, what's like another like simple name that like is funny because it's like to do with like a spade, like, you know, what's the spade's name, Doug or whatever. You know that joke? I don't know that, I can't remember. Um, so I call I called my rubber plant Doug. Um, and I adore this plant. I don't know if you can see by the leaves, um, um, but it's it just looks like someone's painted it. And I'm like, it, this book this is it's amazing. Um, so this is also known as a Fiscus elast elastia. Uh, so obviously this is what rubber is made out of. Affected. Um, but this is what the one plant. That I really want to do well and I want to grow some sometimes they these grow like a tree and I'm like I want it so bad um I'm so commit I'm so this like this is one of my favorite plants that I have just because it's just so pretty and I, I, oh, I, I love it so much I don't know what else to say about it um I got this from being Q again 
Um, and I just caught my eye and I was like, oh my god, rump plant, what? And these leaves and yes, yes. Like so, like I said, um, I really want this to do well. I, it didn't really do well at the start. I think I had it too. I had it too near the sun um, and these don't like moving particularly so I was like I'm sorry baby I'm sorry I'm sorry um, but I think I've got it in a spot where it's happy with life um, it has some new growth coming it, it, this it's taking a while but I actually see some green poking through so that's the good that's a sign it's a good sign that everything is going well um, so yeah this is the rubber plant uh, I love it Dog is my favourite person ever, um, so yeah, I'm happy she's made an appearance in this video. So yeah, I'll put her here. The next person I have is another romance author, and I only have read one of her books, and that is Alyssa Cole. Alyssa Cole writes everything, I think. So I read How to Catch a Queen, I absolutely loved it, one of my favourite romance reads of this year. Um, but she's also written some thrillers, uh, she also has her other romance uh, series as well and I really 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 want to read that. I highly recommend her if you like romance books because her romance books are just so, oh I love them so much and I love her characters like she don't mess around you know. So yeah, ha Alyssa Cole, one of the authors I really really want to read. So the next author I have is Tasha Suri. Who has written? Who I read the Jasmine Throne from, but she has the Empire of Sand. I think I think that's the second book, but she has another series. Um, so the reason why I want to read Tasha Suri is because I actually stopped Jasmine Throne halfway through because I put I was got really busy with uni and I had a few assignments. So I was like, I need to I need to park this for a moment, and I came back to it and I knew what was happening. And I feel like if I know they can write that and I know what the hell is happening, that's a pretty good damn writer, in my opinion. Um, so I really want to read her duology, I think. I can't remember the exact name for it, but this book, I absolutely love. I love the world. The world, ah, oh, it was just so, I mean, here, and this is the Union Crate edition, the sprayed edges with the, with the green, but it was so green and I just l love the aspect of nature woven in with the world and Oh, it was just so good. I love this book so much. And like I said, the fact I had to, I finished, I, you know, stopped about halfway, and then I, when I came back to it, I still knew what, what was happening. It was just like one of those. I was like, oh my god, I love this so much. So I really want to see what other stories she has to offer, and I'm really looking forward to the sequel. Um, need to get it. I've got so much. <laughs> I have no room, and I have no money, and they wanted all the books. Um, but yeah, Tasha Shuri, sorry. Oh, such an amazing writer. I love her. I love this book so much. It's so good. So the next author I want to read more of is C.L. Clark. Um, I don't know how much I've spoken about this, but this is one of my favourite books from of 2021. Um, this is a great military political fantasy, and it's slow, but it's a good slow. It's like it's meant to be slow, and it, you just see everything unravel, and it, oh, it's such a good book. And I really looking forward to the next book. And I really want to see what C.L. Clark has else to offer in terms of writing and the stories that they want to tell. It, I don't know. I can't ask. I don't know what else to describe it as. I just love it so much. It's just such a good book, and I think it, it deserves so much more hype. Um, I feel like out of the trifecta between the Jasmine Throne, She Who Became the Sin, and the Broken, this is the least spoken about. And it makes me sad because this, 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 everybody needs to talk about this book. Yes, it's slow, but it's slow for a reason, you know. Not everything can be fast-paced and, ah, you know, everything happens like that. It has to be drawn out because that's how things pan out, really, in real life. It, it's slow. Everything has to be planned. Um, so, yeah. So, The Unbroken, my baby. I love it so much. It deserves so much hype. So, the next author I have is more of a non-fiction author, and that's Chidra Eguru. Um, I've read How to Get Over a Boy and I really really want I really want to read her other non-fiction stuff because I really enjoyed this. Um, I actually found that it wasn't necessarily about how to get over a boy, but it's more how to become a better person after a breakup. And it obviously it all you know, non-fiction books on like self-help or concentrate on yourself. But this doesn't really concentrate on the relationship that you've had, but it concentrates on you as a person 
and how you can better the, your relationships moving on and better yourself. Um, there was actually some great money tips in here that I've taken and I'm like, I'm going to take that and put it into my real life um, that I found really useful. I thought I found that Adira's um, writing style really good and, and I really want to see what else she her opinions are on other things in life. I feel like whatever what she said I could take away from it. So yeah, those are all the authors that I want to reread read more of. Again, a lot of them is just reading the second book. Uh, a lot of them is reading this, their previous series. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. See you later. Bye.